Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. I'm just about, I don't know if you can see, it's almost 500 calories. My, see that? I love it. I mean, it actually, this is kind of a dorky thing to say, but I really say a lot of dorky crap. Um, it just is the coolest thing. It's, it can be annoying, but you guys know, I kind of measure um, the success of a, a workout by how much I'm sweating. It's just my thing, okay? Other people might not like to sweat. I'm just like thinking, okay, the harder I, the more I sweat, the harder I worked out. So anyway, today I was jumping around doing um, turbo fire, and when your ponytail is hitting the back of your, your body and you're that sweaty that you can actually like feel your ponytails getting all wet and sweaty, and then, <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever seen some of the infomercials they make for like Insanity and the ones they made for Turbo Fire where people are like they're moving and of course it's always in slow motion and they're made up and photoshopped and everything and they're like and there's like sweat coming off of them and you're like I wonder if I can really get that sweaty. Let me tell you something. When I do, when I do Turbo Fire when I've been doing my Ultimate Yogi DVDs, which I'm going to tell you, have been a, a I don't want to say a pleasant surprise, pleasant surprise in how much I sweat. Um, in some of these, um, but in pretty much all of these workouts, I'm like, I can just, can you see how wet my hair is in the back? I will be working out and sweat is flying, so it's probably good that I'm working out at home because if I was working out in a class, you'd almost want to like put bubbles around people so that they don't get, you know, like a first degree shower of sweat, but maybe they'll be sweating so much they wouldn't notice. These are things that I overthink for no reason. Anyway, so my dilemma, back to the coffee maker. Did I start saying that or did I start saying that in my last video? <sighs> this is my mug that I've, jeez, I'm losing my voice, that I've been using lately. And then I also have these ones that we still haven't figured out what the company is. The ones that I got at TJ Maxx. Hold on. Let's say princess on the outside and princess on the inside. And the other one says, you go girl. But there is no brand on the bottom of the mug. It just says, like usually on the bottom of a mug, it's gonna say what the company is. Uh, but I looked on the bottom of these. This one still has part of the price tag on it. Anyway, um, here's the deal. This is my friend Laura down in Atlanta. So when they got me hooked on this. So this is the coffee that I love. But the way that I figured out, you know, you kind of brew your own coffee to the strength that you like it. The way that I like to use my Keurig, it fits perfectly in a cup of this size. If I use my Universe Nose Cups, they're smaller, um, so I can only do one of these and then maybe a half. So I'm either like doing one and a half cups and putting the rest of the coffee in another cup and pouring it in, which is really a pain. I don't know, maybe I guess when I use my Universe Nose Mugs, I will just be making uh, a smaller cup, which usually you guys know, I like my coffee. I'm trying to think. Yeah, see, when I was using my Universe Nose Mugs all the time, it was before I got the Keurig, so I was making just a cup, a pot of coffee, and I kind of keep refilling it a little bit and just adding a little bit more coconut oil, a little bit more cream, and now I'm actually making like one, one cup, and that's it. That's the beautiful thing about the Keurig. You don't have to make a whole pot and clean it and put the filters in and all that. Oh, that's some good stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, did I do that already? It's been one of those mornings. I started to shoot a video and I had to stop because I had issues. So, a um, couple of things. I'll just give you guys, I'm already at three minutes, some feedback on, this is like my first, kind of my first week back at, uh, you know, being full effort, no sickness, no dental work, um, getting, uh, kind of implementing my official, if you will, Ultimate Yogi uh, program at night. So here's my feedback. Um, as I said in one of my last videos, my plan going forward um, is I'm doing the Ultimate Yogi program. Really, I don't, one of the things that I don't like about this hat, I don't, I want it to come, anyway. Maybe it's just because it has this on the side that I notice it more, anyway. Um, I'm dripping with sweat right now. It's dripping down my back. It's dripping. Can you see? It's like dripping on my... See that? Anyway. Ooh, that looked like a Terminator 2 moment. Remember that? When he was like, hold on. And then 
he unzips and his arms metal. I know, you're probably going, Kelly, stay on track. But those of you that watch my videos know I never stay on track. Um, so, new plan going forward is uh, Ultimate Yogi program. And I say program in that, you know, if you buy Ultimate Yogi, which I hope you buy from me because, let's be honest, I made a commission and I have no shame in that. Um, but if you do the Ultimate Yogi program, I think a lot of people uh, buy programs and that's all they do. Or they might see an infomercial and go, that's what I'm going to do, that's how I'm going to lose weight, whatever. I didn't buy Ultimate Yogi for that reason. I bought Ultimate Yogi because obviously I love yoga. I can't get to the studio all the time. I'm studying. You know, my goal is to get in the future certified in yoga. So the more yoga I can have in my life, the better. And I really hate it when, you know, because my yoga studio, Corey's studio is, I have to really leave to be safe. And because I'm anal and I like to be really early. Like if a class starts at 11.30, I want to be there at 11. That's just me because I don't like to rush and I don't want to get in and not be able to find a spot. So I like to get there at 11 and just to be safe, I would probably leave here at like 10.30. So if a class starts at 11.30, I'm going to leave at like 10.30, maybe even a little bit before. So 10.30 and then the class goes from 11.30 to 1. So then you're leaving at 10.30, class is done at 1. By the time you get home, it's 1.30, let's just say 1.45. Two. So you're almost gone four hours. That's kind of a big deal for me to go over there. Not that I don't want to, but I clearly can't do that every day. I can't go over there and, I mean, that's always a, cha that's a challenge, not just for me, um, running my own business, but it's a challenge for anybody. You know, if something's that far away, can you devote that much time? It's not about doing it or not doing it or having the desire to do it or not do it. It's about can you actually afford to give that much time as far as getting there. So. For me, I have had yoga DVDs at home. Nothing ever um, made me want to put the DVD back in other than those Janet Stone videos because they actually seemed, I don't know what it is. I don't know how I define it. I just, any of the other yoga videos that I've had, and I have a lot of them. They literally are out of my garage in storage because I'm like, and they're so boring and they just don't seem to be a flow. They seem to be very, I don't even know. I can't put my finger on it, but the Janet Stone videos I liked. So I got those four, um, but I still wasn't tending to do them as much. The thing about the ultimate yogi is like, I don't know, maybe it's because he's actually said, hey, I'm putting this into a 108 day program. You do it every single day. Each video is a different focus in yoga. So the yin yoga is a much of, uh, I hope I'm saying this right, isometrical holds where you're just going into a pose and you're holding it for three to five minutes. That's very different than the cardio, yoga cardio, which is very different from yoga vitality, which is very different from yoga detox, which I did last night. Each one has a different focus and thus uses different poses and different flows. Each one, I gotta tell you now, I'm going to grab it in a second and I'll tell you which ones I've done. <clears throat> I'm almost at 10 minutes. Um, I haven't done all of them. Each one of them I have been so surprised because I knew they would be great by looking at the site and seeing what the videos were like. I didn't know that it would be as intense. You know, I spread out my um, family room and I don't do, you guys know how I'm addicted to sweat, right? And in the past, I probably would have said, oh, I need to warm up, I need to get all sweaty first. I don't do that. I just go in and I do the DVD, and I'm always looking down at my tank top, and you can just see like the sweat down the middle of my stomach growing, and then my back is always soaking with sweat, and then my legs are shaking and everything. It is killer. It's, he cracks me up when he always does, because I mean, if, you, if you have the DVDs, you know what I'm talking about when he goes, downward dog. And he's trying to get you into just like breathing into it because by the time you go into this downward dog you're like <gasps> it's intense so I got the ultimate yogi program not to do a program and not like oh I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna have this perfect yoga body I I'm already a yoga person wanting to do more and it's exactly what I wanted it gives me that class feeling it's not a lame kind of like beginners version like hey, let's lift our foot one foot, you know, one inch off the ground and call it yoga. It's intense, it's amazing, there's variety. I can't say enough good things about it. I'm totally obsessed with it, as are all of my friends. Shell bought it, she loves it, I think Amy's getting it, et cetera, et cetera. So we're doing yoga at night, 
um, again, because I figured out it's, it seems to be no problem for me to do yoga at night. If I put my workout off, and it's always kind of been a challenge for me if I've had a really long day to do cardio at like 9.30 or 9 o'clock at night. You know, I kind of just want to wind down. Yoga is always a treat for me at night. So right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing all of my yoga at night. In the mornings, Monday, or not Monday through Friday, pretty much every day, unless there's some strange exception. I'm at 10 minutes, I gotta shut up. Doing my cardio, empty tummy cardio. And uh, then I'm shooting for four days a week of really intense weight training, heavy weight training. New trainer, who's actually a trainer, mind you. Be careful people when you see people that are calling themselves trainers online and they're actually not a trainer. There's a lot of those out there. There's a lot of fantastic people, which is awesome. So, um, four days a week of that, and all I can tell you is, I'm gonna have to shoot another video about this. Um, it's been a fantastic first week. I have soreness in every inch of my body, and I freaking love it. Haven't had that in a while. So, I will update you in the next video. I might just shoot one right now. But for right now, we're leaving it at 11 minutes. I will talk to you tomorrow.